Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm finally here with a craft studio tour to share. I've only ever done one of these before and it was a photographic tour so things have changed a little bit since then. I have more stuff and have actually stored, started storing a few things a little bit differently as well. I am lucky enough that I have a room just for my craft space. It's quite a large room but uh, what I have done is actually created a U-shape within the room. I didn't want to use the whole room because I find too much space just a bit too intimidating. So I've created it like a U-shaped um, crafty area that I can just lean back, get what I need. I have everything within reach. I don't like to have too many things behind doors or, although I do like the drawers, but um, I find if I have things hidden away I forget that I have them and I'd rather see them and use them than hoard them although that might be a little bit of a lie I do hoard some stuff <laughs> especially things that I know I can't get again although I'm trying to be better at that as well I will go through each section of my crafty space if you've got any questions um, just put them in the comments below I'll link all the products that I can and the storage products that I use in the um, description below. I'll also link them at my blog and that will be in the description below as well. So thanks for joining me and for all your support and I'll get to the tour. Okay so this is right behind me so I can get everything I need just by rolling back in my chair. I have the companies that I do most of my design work for here, like Penny Black, uh, Waffle Flower, Alta New. Um, they're all they're all separated into sections so that I can find my stamps easily. So I keep my stamps in these plastic containers. They're just from the cheapy shop. Have some cardstock, and this is just printed off the computer with some tape over top, and then. They're labelled in sections. The, and I use these Marvic bags. They're quite a sturdy plastic. And buy them in a pack of 10. And if it's just a small set, I use the Avery Owl, just the little bags there. Uh, so that way I get to keep the original packaging of the product and I can also store the dies with the stamp set. Even, even on the bigger stamp sets, as long as on the ultra new ones especially, I just have to cut the edges off around the packet and they still fit in these Marvig bags and the actual plastic that the stamp comes on fits in there perfectly and I can even fit the dies in the same packet behind it. If I wanted to, I do keep some separate. If there's a lot of dies, I find it easier sometimes just to keep them separately. So then I can have the stamp separately and then I can store the dies in a separate packet as well. I use the magnetic sheets. I find it easier to store things in the baskets because I can see them and I know exactly where everything is. And I also stamp out my images in books, which I'll just show you in a moment, and that way I'll know exactly what I have got in my stash. I like to be able to see what I've got and then I will use it. So my Copic refills have their own basket, ink sprays, um, more ink sprays, um, twine, twine, that's just for nail polish, <laughs> my nails envelopes and buttons they're pretty much decorative I can't remember the last time I used a button <laughs> on a card uh, that's just my washi tapes from Ulta New more Ulta New stamps dies this drawer is just stationary um, this one just has some chalks and uh, Kaiscraft pencils watercolour pencils, chameleon markers oh, this pre-cut um, card bases ready to go 
in different styles. Just um, perfect pearls, googly eyes, which I love but hardly ever use. A heat gun, what do you call it? They, and just um, sticky letters, which I hardly ever use. And that, so. so this is just some um, like bits of floss gold, um, beads, wooden bellies. Um, so this is rhinestones and also per pearls, self-adhesive pearls, which I don't use very much of. Some glitter, which I don't use a lot, but sometimes I do like to get that out. And things like um, glass glitter and pearls, which I um, will sometimes use on shakers. My favourite drawer. There's some Nouveau drops. And there's some stickles there as well, which I tend not to use the stickles so much anymore. I have my Inktense pencils, uh, this is my Games Like Tambi watercolours and well, and oh, that's just more stationary. So here, these are some more IKEA cupboards that I just didn't put the doors on the front of. I've got uh, my paper pads, they're stored in tubs, there's another one that fits across the back as well. And I don't tend to buy too much design paper. I really like it, I just don't use it much. Um, and then I store my cardstock in the uh, crop hoppers in sort of a rainbow order. Um, so that's just texture paste, um, palette knives. I have some corner chompers and that's my Alton new cardstock and some random paper packs and 12 by 12 cardstock which I re rarely use. Um, so in here I keep my rolls of tape, I have my tape, tape runners, I use this quite a bit now, it's my pokey tool thing, more tapes and sticky squares. I've got my scissors, um, if I need to turn them over to my desk. There, my distress sprayer. I use my um, Easy Guide Pro for my removable adhesive. Yeah. Keep all my tools and pens and things here. Crystal Katana. Knife, I can just lean back and grab that. Alright, so I've just moved all my, um, what do you call these things? Sprinkles and sequins over to here. I just found I needed space in my area beside me. I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, and because I use them a lot I want them quite near me. I also have my enamel dots there. And, we going down? and my embossing powders are right beside me. So the ones that I keep in the big containers are the ones like the white, the clear and the gold. And also some stamps that I've got recently, things that I need to use. So I have my tape, um, my colour wheel, and new stamps and things that are on my to use list. Now I can just wheel this near me wherever I'm crafting. Alright, so my big shot's on the top right beside me. Um, I have a little shelf here that has my ATG, my mini trimmer. Uh, this is new to me, this is the Nina Solar White 80 pound, 110 pound cardstock, that's why that's sort of sitting there just so I can grab it and try it out. I have my blocks right beside me, spare cardstock or scraps that I can just use if I want to stamp out an image, colour it and cut it out. Then I've got my regular white cardstock, watercolour cardstock, uh, UFO paper, um, arches, crystals, all in there. Scrap white paper, just computer paper. Um, Fun foam, acetate and vellum. Uh, here I keep, um, these are folders that I keep a record of what stamps I've got, uh, in particular for the companies that I design for. And this way, this helps me to decide what I'm going to create and like, I keep a record of the inks that I use and that I have, I should say, and then I stamp out the sets that I've got. If the set has images and fonts, 
or sentiments. All I tend to do is actually stamp the sentiments on the right side of the page and the images on the left. That way if I'm looking for a sentiment, because often I'll make my cards and then look for a sentiment rather than design it well in advance, not very organised, but then I can just look down the right side of the page and that's where my sentiments are. And I've, done, I've got them kind of colour coded for which company? I don't know if you can be able to see under here. Um, my hair. So my fun foam, I've got just a little bit of fun foam, laminator, um, my stamp presses are under there, I still use both of those, the stamp masking paper, I usually use my magnet uh, plate on my Big Shop, but this is the regular plate which I do use if I'm doing embossing, and then my stamp -a jig other paper and other embossing powder colours, all the colours are there. I have these folders. So this is how I use my scraps of paper. I don't keep every scrap anymore. But um, I have them kind of colour coded. So pinks, greens, reds, and blues are all there. And if I'm looking, I'll always go to my scrap stash first. If I'm looking for um, just a piece of colour cardstock for a project. Oh, there's my cat ball. She'll be happy I found that. So this is where I normally sit my handy cam. It's a mono a monopod and I've just clamped it to the desk uh, that's beside me, which is an IKEA. It's not a desk, it's um, like a TV cabinet, I think it originally is. And then I have a couple of lights that I sit around me as well. And in front of me is where I keep my most used pens, which is the Copics with my Ultimew artist markers and just a few scissors and my guillotine trimmer, the small one. I've also got my zigs here and my little Ultimew mini blossom. And over to the left. So in here I have, they're my Prisma colour pencils. They're not all there at the moment because I'm in the middle of packing up for a holiday. But uh, Prisma colours and Polychromos, they're in the purple. I keep them separate, it's just easier because I um, do videos for YouTube so I I can keep the names and um, know what I'm using. Uh, I also have some some Tombos, which I don't use very often, but I really like the way that they watercolour. So, my paintbrushes. Um, so, this is where I keep my inks. They're right beside me, because I use them all the time. And I have a Precision Trimmer. This is one that's self-sharpening from Fiskars. And I can actually fold it down, but if I have the luxury of having some space, so I actually leave mine open. It cuts 12 by 12 cardstock, and this is how I cut all my card bases. I uh, keep my Misty beside me here as well, and a couple of the corners for my Misty, because I use them all the time as well. And off to the left, I don't know if you can see, down here is where I keep my um, boards for watercolouring, as well as my... I have the two of them, what are they called? Scoreboards. And this is where I have my um, heat tool. I just hang that off the side. The side of me. And this is one of the holsters that just sort of attaches to the top of the desk. It just sticks to the laminate. I have my erasers, tweezers, pencil, and it's heat proof. So if I want to, I can actually just sit my heat tool when it's hot on top of that. Or my cup of tea. That's the other thing that goes there. Um, okay, so in the top drawer I keep my scrubber so I can just turn around and clean my stamps as I'm working. Um, this is just a rag to wipe away the powder tool when I'm in heat embossing. Glitter cloth and one of my favourite tools, a scraper. So when I stick things down wrong or crooked I can lift them up and do it again. Now my inks, I have a couple of black inks, 
just a few, all different kinds. But I use them all, uh, all for different reasons. And then all my alternates. I don't have all the mini cubes for the alternates, but I do think they're really handy. So more alternate inks, and then I just um, have some Catherine Paula inks, my waffle flower inks. Um, and the reason I have them in these trays is so I can lift them out. Because it's hard to get into the back of these drawers, I find that having just a low tray with the inks in it means I can get to the ones at the back without being irritated. Um, my distress inks, I have them in colour families. And these are just a few distress oxides that I have. I won't be getting all of those. I really just got the colours that I use the most. And that's just because they blend so beautifully. I also keep my blending tools in here and some random gloves. I have some Hero Arts shadow inks. I don't, I don't use them very much. I do like my archival inks, especially if I'm watercolouring. And the Ranger ones are really nice. I used my Memento inks for many years and love them. I tend not to go to them now, but um, they really have a beautiful colour range. Um, my favourite inks, Memento Lux. I didn't like them so much. And I think it's just because they're pigment and it's um, too slow drying for me. I'm, I just can't wait that long. But they stamp beautifully. And some Velcro dots, and that's how I adhere the blending sponges on the back of my distress inks. Stuff that I don't use so much, I store over here in these Alex drawers, I think that's what they're called. And I like these drawers, I just don't like that they don't pull all the way out, but um, they do hold a lot of stuff. So I keep storage bags, I have some blending solutions and also my odorless solvent, that's um, what I use for my Prismacolors. I have um, my spare Prismacolor pencils, <laughs> I got a bargain and I was paying $3 for a pencil here in Australia and I managed to get these online and I was so happy. So now I've got all the colours and spares. Washi tape, I've just sat in there until I can sort of work out what I want to do with that. I don't use washi tape very often. Now, don't judge me. I have lots of glue. Glue dots, adhesive. I have bought some extra because I'm about to go travelling and I'm going to take it with me. But I must have a fear of running out, I think. Because I have more. But that's okay. And then I just have some random embellies, floss, I did cross stitching for years, and a hole punch, oh, laminate, um, pouches, spare paper, wood paper, cardstock. Okay, embossing powders, I had some of these for years, I just find I never run out. The only one I consistently would say that I ever totally use would be the white one. Uh, so the second drawer has the Ultra New Scrapbook Collection, Card Collection and some enamel dots. Okay, so I have some foiling stuff here. I plan on doing some more foiling and I have some Daco foil transfer gel and pen and also the other scrapbook collection from Ultra New. So re-inkers, distress re-inkers for the colours that I use a lot of um, and just some random, oh yeah I must get them out and colour with them too. And some random sort of paints that I've used for other projects. Um, now this is just getting down to extra cardstock and um, watercolour cardstock. And then, oh, these are my red rubber stamps for purple onion designs. Okay, so I have embossing folders here. I don't use them a lot, but I have some really funky ones that I like to keep. And these are also embossing folders. And I also have some 
um, stencils in here as well. Don't use them very often. Some stamp sets, so some older ones that I just can't bear to part with. <laughs> uh, here and um, also some of the other stamp, stamp lines that I like that I don't use as often. I have like a roly chair. Most of my furniture, like I said, is IKEA, so I'll link what I have used <laughs> below. Mum's telling me to take my shirt, just in case you wonder what that's about. My mum's helping me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll start the bit again. <laughs>